Hey guys, welcome back. It's Grim Reaper, another video for A Shadows, and today we're gonna do a Hydra video for this new rotation. Um, I think this is a very good team, very successful team. So let's get into the run, and then we're gonna come back with the builds and the champions, masteries, etc.
Okay there guys, so there is the run for the thing. As you can see it was a bit close for the Wonky. Uh, however, no revivers, two, only two legendaries, one of them a four guarantee. And also this champion is up for 10x this weekend. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just move myself here so I'm not in the way. Um, but yeah, one of the champions in for 10x. This guy is a top tier Hydra champion. If you do not have this champion this weekend, I do recommend to go for him for Hydra. He can be used in other content as well, but his strongest point for most places are Hydra. So we are going to look at his kit quickly and how I build him. So we're going for Resistance Banner. Um, we have HP and HP. Uh, so speed, defense and HP with accuracy and resistance substats and speed substats. So as you can see, now I normally use him a little bit lower down or use him in hard sometimes depending on the rotation. But the key points with Necmo is to have good um, HP, good defense, good speed. Accuracy is really needed and resistance. Resistance is not needed on him by the way it's just I use to sometimes I run blood uh, shield on him just as a second choice uh, mischief tank uh, but for this comp because there's hardly any debuffs it's not really needed. 
So he does actually do quite a bit of damage. So as you can see, we have Master Hexo. Master Hexo is really important with that decreased speed. And this is what makes him so good, is he gives you increased speed on a E3 and then giving you that decreased speed and leech, AOE leech play. And this is how this team stays alive. So the Master Hexer is really good at extending that for the three turn duration. A cycle of Violence as well, and as well Refresh are really good on his champion to get back his A2 and his A3. And don't forget, he also has a AOE decrease attack. You could argue if Sniper is also better for their abilities, especially with the A1, um, but I think that's just a small adjustment. Um, again, lots of uh, refresh on him um, and stuff like that. And he, honestly, you could go relentless as well if you wanted to. Um, he doesn't. He could uh, be very good in that in that role as well. Um, I personally just don't have enough relentless on my account to do all my champions. Uh, the second legendary is going to be one of the old school fusions, Skull uh, Skull Lord Vagal. I've spoken about this guy before um, in Hydra. He's just absolute quality. So as you can see, we got Blood Shield. He's got the Blood Shield just to give him that uh, extra uh, uh, buff, so that Mischief always targets him. As you can see, we do a really good job. Uh, building him this guy has really good base stacks 90 base resistance uh, 70 base accuracy uh, 1. 1,300 defense and 27,000 HP it has one of the highest HPs in the game uh, Which is really nice. So as you can see I've got really weak gear on him, but strong stats uh, As you can see I've got double refresh as well to get that a2 background it's on a two turn tool cooldown his main job is to do three things depend on the rotation his main job is to provoke DK to stop him cleansing and gives us this extra buff which is super nice and then uh, also to be the mis mischief tank as well which is super super nice as well but you do need blood shield for that and then his last job as well, if you're not using Necmo, he does bring an AOE decreased defense, so I attack down on a three turn cooldown. Personally, if you're going to book the champion, you only need books in this ability, and that is it. Uh, you don't need anything else. A really good in Faction Wars as well. Um, a really top tier champion for Faction Wars. These are my masteries. Again, I do recommend taking on Silence of Cycle of Violence. Uh, Hexa, I've only took this for the A3 because sometimes I do actually use him for the decrease attack. So I do try and stand that sometimes. Uh, and I've used him in other content as well. So really all masteries. But super, super good champion. Form of fusion, a lot of people have him sitting in the vault. If he's sitting in your vault, use him. He can fit in teams very, very well. And honestly, a great champion. Uh, okay, so let's go into our damage dealers. So we have a Royal Guard with Blessing level 3. Now, I don't know if Pantheon is still the best Blessing. For me, this is what I took at the moment because I'm trying to get extra critical damage. Uh, so that's why I mainly took this, if I'm honest. Uh, the attack doesn't actually really matter for Hydra. So as you can see, I've got um, a Reflex on this champion. Um, I don't have no Refresh. Uh, and I do prefer in Relentless with Refresh if I take it. Old Masteries are actually the wrong Masteries. These should be changed. Um, it looks like I'm just being a little bit tight on, mas on, on Gems. These are the Masteries you should be taking. So we have Increased Critical Rate, uh, Critical Damage, uh, Heart of Glory. I will point out that Light... Life Drink is actually a serious mastery you want on your Royal Guard and your Husk. The reason is, is there's no healers and you'll notice when we do the big ability in nukes that this is really good to heal you back up. So it's like a built in life still and depending on how much damage you do this should heal you all the way back up and you can go back and watch the replay for that. This ability is super super key as well. Um, 
uh, to get that E3 about round. To be honest, I have no idea what's going on in the support tree. Um, so yeah, you could you could possibly do a couple of things here. Um, to be honest, I think I just really wanted this. It looks like. Um, <laughs> so I uh, yeah, like I don't know what's going on in the support tree there, but it doesn't really matter for me to be fair. Uh, and again, you can see this one has refresh. That has good um, damage and this is my main one I use for nightmare by the way so this is my better built war guard um, and the, the other one is what I use on I'm brutal and I didn't actually even know I had the wrong masteries on if I'm honest uh, so I don't know if this is the husk I used I think this is the husk I think this was the one we used so we got one refresh on him we have a triple accuracy banner accuracy and critical damage and then broken set here um, and yeah just a really decent um, overall stats so we're looking for good HP which is where his damage comes from good speed crit, crit capped critical damage and accuracy accuracy to be a second choice provoker towards uh, mischief again not the best masteries I should be taking cycle of violence here and then accuracy down the route here you could actually argue that law still is better uh, as well for the extra accuracy if you have accuracy set on uh, and then we're also going to go into our Yugo so yeah Yugo all I'm worried about is extra accuracy um, extra accuracy and stuff like that and as you can see again HP for survivability and then just really good speed so uh, that's what you can see there you can pause this by the way and look into this so we do have spirit haste spirit haste is because she does have that really sneaky revive here uh, which has been quite clinch now and again for hydro runs it wasn't for this run um but yeah anyway uh, master hexa again really uh useful ability with a two uh cycle of violence life drink is not that important because he can heal and doesn't do that much damage and um yeah uh we basically one keyed uh brutal with this team uh, pretty easily so I was really impressed actually how easy I won keyed obviously we died towards the end I think we was a bit lucky with Raf and stuff like that um, but obviously we had Raf and Tormen out so um, it was really surprising to kind of um, come back the way we did and I was really surprised that we won key obviously we ran no reviver which was super super good um, and yeah the key the team has four epics I think obviously you could argue that God tier epics um, but yeah a really solid team and I really liked it this rotation that we won keyed so uh, first time no problems here and Geo being the main damage dealer right big big damage from Geo uh, with Necmo just completely dominating the bosses with his kit uh, this guy really does make it so well <clears throat> and even better he brings a speed aura as well so you can run your champions uh, 20 speed slower if you wanted to um, so yeah overall I'm really impressed this guy is really top tier I've, he's, he's god tier if I'm honest for Hydra and I think if you do have him you can easily build a team around him um, and it's a one key Fair enough, and if you want, you can go watch this on my stream. If you want some more information, Grin Reaper TV raid. My vods are up for about two weeks of this video. I am releasing this two days later when I did the Hydro run, which was on uh, Wednesday, just after reset. So there we are, guys. Um, I hope you like this video. Let me know um the comments below, and keep an eye on my channel because I will be doing a giveaway. Um, on the next day stay tuned it's a little bit different 
of a giveaway but I think it could be quite fun so yeah go check out my channel for that and yeah I really hope you have a great weekend if I don't see you in stream on Sunday um, yeah or Friday evening when we're gonna be doing some count takeovers on my twitch uh, channel anyway have a great channel weekend hopefully you get a load of gold and I do again recommend this champion I think he's so so good and I don't think you can be really miss the opportunity of grabbing this champion. Till then, till the next video, peace out and I'll see you all soon.